Should we accept refugees from Gaza? Of course, people will say yes. Remember, we've taken over half a million refugees in just the last handful of years. In 1992, Denmark took in 300 refugees from Palestine. 64% of them have turned into criminals. 34% of their children have turned into criminals. I'm not demonising any one group, but the risk that we bring in the wrong kind of people what? and those who can be linked to Hamas Only? say to me that in the name of national security, the time has come to say, no, enough is enough. Enough is Should enough. Should we accept refugees from Gaza? Of course, people will say yes. Remember, we've taken over half a million refugees in just the last handful of years. In 1992... Denmark took in 300 refugees from Palestine. 64% of them have turned into criminals. 34% of their children have turned into... Only, hold on, you know, I, I want to discuss with you, mister. I mean, it's only 64%. Is that a high percentage? People, listen, please. Only six for sixty-four percent of the Muslims they brought to Denmark, and this is he is counting only from from so-called Palestine, <laughs> Palestinian. Only sixty-four percent they turn into criminals. If we go right now and check, what is the average of Muslims who break the law, but like in the population of England, you know, you will find that maybe ninety percent of the criminals in England they are Muslims. Am I exaggerating? Go check the numbers. France, anywhere in Europe, drugs, uh, forgery, uh, you know, stabbing, uh, robbery, you name it. But they are the one who speak about morality and ethic. Nobody is having morality like them. They are very moral. Their prophet himself was a thief and he's a rapist and he's a caravan writer. Listen, son of Muda. Yesterday, you yourself, you coward, you posted a video saying you condemn Hamas. <laughs> and the funny is, you are talking about IDF taking a human shield. Why is the IDF is hiding behind women, you coward? Is it the IDF? They 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 put the tunnel under the under the ground. In the top of them, there is a school and there is a hospital and there is a house and there is a villa. You are a son of Muta for real. Listen, I'm not insulting you, mom. You know, Muta in Islam was halal. And, uh, you know, the funny is, if you call one of them son of Muta, they get so upset. I mean, why are you upset? They say to you, you are calling my mother a whore. Who? So why are Allah he allowed then? At that time, your mother was a whore. Now she is not. So, you say to them their own terms, their own words, their own religion, their own practice, they get upset. You ask a Muslim what the word nikah mean, he will say to you to get married. You go to a chat room, type, hey, hello guys, I want to do nikah. Everybody will start effing you. If you know in the motherfucker, what the heck? I just said I want to get married. You know, because the word nikah mean to eff you. <laughs> So they lie when they argue, they lie when they debate, they lie to make themselves look better. And the second you step on their tail, their rat tail, they are rats, those are rats. Those are not even men. You see, those Hamas there at least, at least, I mean, they, they dare to attack. This guy is just a rat. That's fantastic news. Make sure that you apply the same discount to the funeral body bags for your terrorist IDF son, Man Mendy. A promo code Human Shield. You know, uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, I'm going to push the promo co uh, uh, code Human Shield in the anus of your prophet. As you know, that every Muslim when he die, they push a piece of fabric in his anus. Why? Because your prophet, he said that there is 99 dragons will go inside your grave and they will go inside your anus. Now the question is, those who they are killed by the ADF, you see until now they did not show us any video because they are following the international law, which is not to, you know, like, uh, dis uh, like disrespect the dead body. 
But you know, and I know, and everybody knows, that all the guns the IDF they have in their hands, they show us, are guns of people who they are killed. All the grenade, all the weapon, all the RPG. So imagine how many, how many Hamas been killed. But the question here, those Israeli, they are not pushing fabric in their anus. And that is the risk. What the 99 dragons, which your prophet mentioned, are doing to them now? Remember, there's no fabric in their anus. You know, first time I heard that Muslim Sunni, they insert a piece of cloth and etc. They push it in the anus. It was really weird. I mean, that's really stupid. What the heck? Why you want to insert something? I mean, the guy is dead. Why you want to do that to him? Why? What? What? What for? So this guy, he is harassing this person. This, uh, be, you know, he's harassing you, by the way, because you are a nice person. And I want to say something, uh, uh, you know, to you, a rabbi. You are asking, where is the police? Uh, where does this guy live, guys? Do he live in the in the state? Nobody knows. It says here, Rabbi Shamuli, whom Newsweek Wash Post called the most famous rabbi. You are the most famous rabbi. Hey, are you kidding me? And and you are the most famous rabbi. And you say his time is beautiful. You are the most famous stupid rabbi. Here we go. His time is beautiful. Uh, he's in the, in the in the UK or USA. Everybody's giving me the same answer. You guys, did you graduate from the Middle East like me? Because this is what happened in the Middle East schools. Every page have different answer for the same question. You know, like in Saudi Arabia, they ask you a question. If you answer it, you get sixty degree out of one hundred. What is the name? This is the, the subject is history. What is the name of the king of Saudi Arabia? Imagine, right? I mean, the king is king for the last 30 years. I mean, they, but there is nobody knows his name. Like, how you can answer such a question? Who is the name of the king of Saudi Arabia? Oh, that's hard. All right. He's in USA. Okay. So listen, why you are saying, where is the police? Well, what does that mean? You complain to Twitter? Did you call the FBI? Did you call, you know, says this guy is making a death threat? If you think this is a death threat, then you should call the FBI. It's an international matter. They can go after him. In the worst scenario, they will, you know, they will, they will you know, he will, they will have a warrant for him if he come to USA. So don't say where is the police. Do something. And next time you speak to a Muslim, stop being hypocrite and don't say Islam is beautiful, you coward liar. How dare you to say Islam is beautiful? Don't you know what Muhammad did to the, to the Jews? Are you the same as those Jews in New York who say uh, uh, Islam, you know, like, uh, the, this is uh, Zionist is against uh, the Bible and you know, uh, what? Uh, either you are against or you are with. Muhammad, he killed your people. Muhammad, he says that he will kill every Jew. And you are saying to Muhammad Hijab, this whore, you are saying to her that Islam is a beautiful shame on you. You know, I don't sugarcoat things. I say things as it is, you know. But when I saw uh, his post to you, to your son, I said to myself, well, I, if I am you, I'm sure your son now know, knew about it. So what about you tell your son if he can send you some selfie with some Hamas? Because I'm sure they have them in the museum now in Israel. Let me see. Uh, you know, maybe... Uh, maybe uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, he have a different plan. You know, <laughs> what is the plan of Mimi Hijab these days? I'm not sure, but I think he would do something, something serious. Oh, he will drink a urine. Uh, do you see how the Israeli? They capture those Hamas and they treat them like dogs. I don't know if you saw that. I saw it. And by the way, today, I saw in the news 
uh, you know, those who they have families, you know, uh, they have children, they've been kidnapped, etc. When the minister uh, of security, he mentioned that those, we should give them execution uh, punishment. Those are stupid people, they, they went crazy against the minister. No, I cannot do that. All of this because they have children there. So you want to let them go and then they kill you, kill more? Just because you're stupid, selfish, you have a son there. You let those who killed already to come back tomorrow because now you are saying to them, you know, each time you kill, you come back, you know, we, uh, uh, we kidnap one, two girls and, you know, we take you out, don't worry. So the killing will continue. So the government of Israel not only should execute those, you know, those men, they should execute them in a nice way. Uh, we can ask uh, Mimi Hijab how he's a prophet, maybe, uh, follow the Prophet of Allah. As an example, the Prophet of Allah, he have many ways of execution. As an example, Muhammad, he cut hands. He uh, cut feet and he put nails in the eyes of his enemies. Should the Israeli IDF follow the mercy of a Prophet Muhammad police be upon him? It's just a question. He cut their hands off. He cut their feet off. And then he put nails after he put it in fire inside their eyes. You know, you Muslims, the more you do aggression, the more the IDF, they will screw everyone in Hamas. The more they will be way more aggressive. You saw nothing yet. Those people are being so merciful with you. In fact, I believe that the Israeli government are just a bunch of stupid people because they are very nice. And they care what the media say. Who care what the media say? Who care what the media say? When you are paying blood, your people being kidnapped every day, being stabbed every day. They hate you anyway. It doesn't matter what you do. If you leave now, if you let Hamas now, go. If you stop now and say, you know what, we want peace, is it solved? No. You tried this many times before. They never stop and they will never stop. So either you finish every single one of them, those of filthy Hamas, or they finish you. And negotiating, you know, like, okay, uh, uh, 50 from you, 50 from us, that is a very cowardly act from the Israeli government. And it's very stupid too. The problem is that Israel is a democratic country. And because they are democratic country, eh, the prime minister, he is worried about the election. That's all. He will do what people want. He will not do what is the right thing to do. You know, uh, I don't know if you saw those, uh, those cowards. Hamas. I really enjoy the way how Israeli is treating them, you know. They were like grabbing them like really like rats. But still, I think this is a nice treatment, you know. I mean, those, they don't deserve to be treated like a human at all. You know, if you are, if you don't behave like a human, you're the human. Human is somebody, he act like one. Those are the dogs of Hamas. IDF upon them. We can't say police now.